This is Charlie Rose. I just flew down from Puerto Rico, man. I had to get my mind refreshing. Just being there, man, it just it made me realize that the simplest things in life could be could be the most beautiful things. Can I kick off my shoes, man? That'd be cool. It's just one of those days that I ain't got much to do. This bullshit I depend on high hope. Um, I made Rule the World as soon as I flew in from Puerto Rico and uh, I was doing like a random instrumental search or whatever like I usually do and it, I found it. The sounds and everything captivated me, man. Um, around that time, I was going through like a lot of emotional shit. Um, I just lost my father to, uh, to suicide. So, like I said, it was just like a brand new transition for me to, to see what was going in within my life. And when I was in Puerto Rico, I realized that like the simplest things are really the most beautiful things, like the way they live, the way they were so carefree and had energy and were just so so much positive things going on versus in my other reality when 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 I found out what happened with my dad, you know, and 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 the working situation, you know, always clocking in and stuff like that. I took all of those experiences and I created Rule the World within that instrumental. I put I put the fact that we need to see life for the way we really want to see it and not the way the world wants us to see it because sometimes when you're so caught up in your daily routines 365 days of the year you forget who you are you drown you drown in the way the world you know portrays you to be so rule the world is basically just telling you to be yourself have your own time to yourself and 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 actually learn yourself at the same time Nah, it's perk well. I might. Uh, nah. Nah. Real. <laughs> this is raw, yo. Sounds pretty good. Can I kick off my shoes? Man, gotta be cool. It's just one of those days that I ain't got much to do. Don't want to turn the TV on. I had to turn off my phone. Sometimes it's the simplest thing to make us feel like we could. I had to back away from my. Yes, sir. My stomach's shaking, but no sick days. So low these days in patience. I'm dealing with our cuts from bosses that's higher up. There's so many politics that's up in those offices. And they just look at us and say that I wish it would change, bro. I just say if I didn't get paid, I would end it cane, though. I mean, damn, what you expect me to do? I just want to chill and step in the doof before I do. I got to redo that shit. Holy shit. Uh, 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 uh. My bad. <laughs> we Gucci. What? Bro, I love me some fucking wall. Yo, we yeah, gotta come back and get some mango cream, bro. Yeah, that's what you do. Ain't gonna lie, bro. Yeah, bro. It's gonna change your life. You might not. <laughs> it's gonna change your life. The mango cream. Yo, wow, wow. You need. I need you to sponsor me, cause that mango cream. That shit is fire. Yeah. Fire, hot fire. Dial on, dial on, dial. Dig it up. Nigga, that mango cream is something serious, bro. Tell you, nigga. Yo, one time I bought the 24 ounce mango cream, and I went back like after 30 minutes. I was drinking that. I got another one, bro. That was some fat shit. <laughs> Yo, you know I'm right. Not, bro. Cause I put Javi on mango. I can't believe, nigga. You're drinking I mango. I barely go to Wawa. I don't support Wawa that, that often. Hold up, we gotta censor that out. <laughs> I'm trying to get sponsorship. <laughs> we got a sister that helps this documentary, man. Rule the World is a part of a collection of songs that I had stored away in my hard drive. And basically my team was like, we need to let the world hear, hear this. We need to let the, her, the world experience what we're hearing at the same time. So when in those collection of songs, we created uh, Respect Your Growth. Uh, Respect Your Growth is basically talking about like when your parents are always like oh just be a kid you don't want to be an adult you don't understand all the struggles and all this stuff that we go through all these bills that we have to pay 
and we just look at them while we're a kid and we're like yo screw you man you know what i'm saying you're just trying to always have control over my life so it's that same concept of being a kid and not understanding that aspect that our parents used to tell us or whatever growing up it's almost saying that we do have to evolve we have to go through each process through life and that's the same thing that i did with my music i went first as an mc only just punch lines metaphors and everything and then i started growing into the 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 melodics and and all the harmonies that go within my music music and everything like that and different emotions like i dug deeper than than i knew i could before so I evolved. I respected that. Before I wasn't respecting that. I was just trying to rush and put out everything and and like me not rushing is letting me, you know, key into my craft and it and it's actually letting me show the world that I am more than just a rapper. I am more than just a producer. I am more than just a singer. Like I'm I'm showing you every emotion possible through each record that I that I put in the studio, you know? So that's what respect your growth is about. It's about going through a journey, not rushing through it and making sure that you get to know who you are. You get to respect who you are at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Without that, you can truly you can't really truly know yourself. So respect your growth is basically your journey, man. And I, and I hope you guys enjoy that journey as much as my team and I do. Are you waiting for me to go? Is this is my cue. I didn't hear action. I, was trying to I didn't hear no 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 indication of of, of uh, recording going on.